Good evening everyone, welcome to the start of this weekly vlog. So for the month of June I'm going to be doing weekly vlogs instead of just weekend vlogs. <laughs> I have a pooch who is laying in strange positions all over the place. So me and pooch are lying here being lazy flumpers. It is on its way to midnight on Monday, the 31st of May. What are you doing? <laughs> He's off. And we're just waiting to watch the kickoff of the live show, uh, the kickoff live show for Whatever Thon, because that starts from midnight, and I'm very excited. Um, admittedly, I'm not going to be staying up for very long. I'm just going to pop in. Oh, dear me. <laughs> I'm just going to pop in, put in a comment in the chat and then I'm going to bed because I have to work in the morning and yeah, I'm going to go get some sleep. But it is the official kickoff of whatever thon and I will come back to you in the morning when I'm less tired. See you later. Hello everyone and welcome to the start of the first of the four whatever thon weekly vlogs. So I stayed up last night to watch the kickoff video of whatever thon. I didn't watch the whole thing because I was very tired. But I did show up and say hi to everyone. And now I'm going to go off to the first of my many tasks today. So obviously I had to work today, <laughs> tripping over a dog bone. I had to work today because it is a work day and I have been working all day. Um, and then I've got to go and do Dylan. So I'm off to the yard next and drop the dog off with my boyfriend. And I'm actually going to a friend's house tonight. So I don't see there being a lot of reading for the first day of whatever thon. But I will catch up with you if that actually changes at all. Oh dear. Hello. So that is me now back. Um, I left the house at quarter to five and it is now quarter to 12. The puppet is crying for pee, so I have to make this quick. First day of whatever thon and I've literally read nothing, nada. Not a page, not a word, nothing. I hear you, pooper. So uh, yeah, life got in the way today. I went and rode my pony and saw my friend and had dinner and a girl's catch up. And now I'm going to go to bed and start again tomorrow. <laughs> so hopefully I can catch up with my pages because I was hoping to read about 150 a day. But I'll get to that tomorrow and I will catch up with you on day two. Mm -hmm. Oh, to be a dog. What a life he's got. Um, hi. So it is day three of whatever thong. I don't think I vlogged yesterday, which is fair because at this point in the readathon, I have read nothing. Here he is getting comfy. Look at that face. He's e out. Look at it. Look at this. He's an absolute numpty. Anyway. So yeah, I'm looking down as I'm petting him. <laughs> anyway, at this point in the readathon, I have read nothing. Um, it's been a really busy week. Um, I've been spending time with friends and really getting, not say getting back into the socialising, but definitely enjoying spending time with people a bit more. Um, I think it was a video, I think it was a, a video by Lily Pebbles. Um, she mentioned how you know, other people have started, you know, within the rules, going out about and starting to do more what they're allowed to do. And even though she's allowed to do stuff, she's finding it a bit harder to get back into that routine as opposed to the routine it's been that way for like a year where it's more you stay inside and don't see anyone. And I, I'm i definitely feeling that. And it's one of the first times I've actually seen someone say that on YouTube. And I watched that a couple of days ago and I was like, yeah, that's me. Because I'm actually 
finding it more difficult to kind of get back into normal routines or say normal pre covid -y routines. Um, is your belly gurgling? Is your belly gurgling? Yes. Gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. Um, so yeah, this is uh, the last few days. I've actually spent some more time with people and it's been nice. It's been really nice. Um, I still haven't like gone into like non-essential shops or anything. Like I really want to go to like Waterstones or have a route around a charity shop or something. And I'm still feeling a little bit unsettled. I think because I've not been vaccinated yet, I, I don't feel really safe, I suppose. I mean, not safe seems a bit extreme, but I, I guess I would have rather been vaccinated before I started going out about again. Um, Ewan has been because he got done early because of his asthma. Hi. Hi. Look at this little boy. Look at this little boy. Um, anyway, so I haven't been and it's definitely maybe, I feel like that's the thing that's holding me back a little bit. But, anywho. Uh, because of my recent sociable behaviour, I haven't read anything yet. Ow. <laughs> Charming. Mouthy, mouthy. Um, I haven't even finished Queen of Nothing, which I was reading um I was reading during the Do the Thingathon, and I literally must have like forty pages left. So it, it's not even enough to claim. Like I'm not even claiming that in whatever thon because I feel like that is a bit of a dick move because it's it's pretty much done. Um, so I need to start reading an actual book of my TBR. And do it soon. Are you licking the couch? No, you're licking your paw. Um, I need to actually read a book that's different from that. But obviously I want to finish that one first because that is what... <laughs> paw in the background. That's one that I obviously want to finish before I start anything else. Um, and it won't even take me long to read. I might manage to finish it tonight. Tonight's the first night where I shouldn't have a ridiculous amount to do. Although looking at my to-do list, I have got a few bits and bobs that I need to do. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I'm not feeling as pumped as I was for to do the thing a thon. But then that was just such a short space of time. I like got right into it and I don't know. This is mostly a bit of a ramble. But um Hi. I'm also editing my do the thing a thon vlog, so I want to get that done. So yeah, just working through the to-do list, which is all useful stuff. But I would very much like to get on with my page reading because I was hoping to read about 150 pages a day, which I do think I can do, but obviously I've not done it for three days. Um, so I can just feel like the page count is now piling up that I should actually have been doing. Don't be a little monkey. Stop being a little monkey. He's trying to bite my fingers. Well, not bite them, he's just mouthing them. Right? There's no pain there. He doesn't really bite anymore, he just mouths. Um, Hi, let's just pause. I don't even know why I came on for this vlog. I feel like I was looking for a bit of accountability um, by saying that I'm not getting stuck in. Maybe I'm gonna shame myself into doing something. And also it's skiving work because I'm kind of ahead of my target for the day. Um, until about half 12, which is a few minutes away. So I just thought I'll take a few minutes out and just garble to the camera. So that's what I've done. And now I probably should get back to work. Um, most of my books for this are physical. And I I do have the ability to read a couple of them on audio. But most of them are physical books. So obviously I can't really do it while I'm doing something else. But um, anyway. I will hopefully start reading today. Whether it's to finish off Queen of Nothing or actually start one of my whatever thon books, I'm not sure. But I will hopefully be back with you later. Hold me accountable. Tell me. Tell me off for not doing this. <laughs> um, I need to pull my finger out and actually do something. Instead of just playing with the dog. Right, I'm going to go back to work. Hi. <laughs> it is now Friday. It is day four of Do the Thing a Thon. No, it's not. It is day four of Whatever Thon. I still failed yesterday. <laughs> I read nothing. 
what is wrong with me why can't i get my button gear honestly i uh i just sat and watched back a lot of the rambly nonsense that i've filmed so far this week it's been pointless um we'll see how much of that makes it into the final vlog if i don't do any reading i'm gonna need something to bulk it up so it's like i'm having a whinge week <laughs> um i look rough let's be fair like i mean i know i don't always make much of an effort i rarely make much of an effort but i do look rougher than normal today i have had less than four hours sleep because of a certain pooch <laughs> we suspect he ate part of a bird bone from outside the flat um there's a lot of birds around here and there's been a few dead birds not like a lot but like there's been like a bird fight and there is some bone remainders um so we, we so we suspect he ate a bone as a typical lab he is so good at picking things up that he shouldn't and he's super good at eating it quicker than we can get to him he's sleeping over there looking so peaceful let me show you look at him look at him there lying in the sun oh what a nice life you've got you can lie there sleeping after keeping us up all night so yeah pooper is peaceful um he kept us up probably till about half past three because he kept hacking and coughing and sounding like he was gonna vomit but never vomiting so i had to phone the emergency vet not the first time if you've watched previous vlogs <laughs> and they said to give him some food to see if they could kind of if there was any kind of bone shards stuck or maybe it was just irritation in the throat give him something to eat and see if that settled him and it did <sighs> but we are very tired i've dropped you off to work like i always do he works a week at home and a week in the office. So the week he's in the office, I drop him to work and come back here because I'm still working from home full time. And yeah, so now I'm sitting on the couch. I've had some breakfast. I considered going back to bed. I legitimately thought, you know, I'm going to go back to bed for a bit. But I figure I'm going to feel drunk and hungover y naffness all day. So let's just push through the work day and uh, get that done as quickly as possible. So, we have some tea. Mm. I feel like I'm going to need a lot of that today. And yeah, no progress on the reading front. I'm not sure how much progress I'm going to make today because of the sleepiness. But I do want to try. I, you know what, I even watched the sprints last night and I was using the sprints to edit because I wanted to get my vlog up today. I really wanted to get it up a couple of days ago, but it's been one of those weeks, as you can tell from all of my rambling, and mm, I've been getting stuff done, don't get me wrong. I have been getting stuff done, it's just not the stuff that I wanted to get done. I'm going to get the, I'm going to get the, the do the thing on vlog up today, which is the 4th. Yes, the fourth. <laughs> and um, then this vlog will be up the following weekend. Um, so you'll see the video I'm talking about before you see this one. Um, I'll like, link it there if you want to see how much more productive I was at Do The Thingathon. But then I started strong and Do The Thingathon and kind of petered out as the week got busier. So maybe I'm just going to start slow and then get, I'll get going. Oh, the pile of shame is growing. I keep seeing on Twitter so many folk have like finished books already and I'm just like I is a failure a failure Ugh. anyway I'm gonna start work I'm gonna drink my tea I'm gonna go shower because no one needs to stare at this longer than I have to and I've been chatting away for a few minutes now um so I've subjected you to this grossness for far too long anyway I'm gonna get stuck in work shower and come back to you and i am going to read today i am determined i am going to read today i hope hello so i'm feeling a bit brighter now i've gone and 
had a shower and done a face mask, so that's great. I am popping in because I'm really excited because look what just came in the mail. It's my vaccine. My first vaccine. I'm so excited. I really wanted to get vaccinated and like, yeah, I was getting a bit stressed that it hadn't come yet and I'm excited. So I'm going to go find out when I get my first dose and oh, <laughs> so 15th of June get my vaccine on the 15th of June. Today is the 4th. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. And that is the week before we go down to Edinburgh. So that's good. I mean, I don't think it's fully effective for a couple of weeks after, but still, I'm so glad that this is finally through. I better go. My dog is eating my work stuff. Oh, but yeah. It's been a lovely morning. It's now Saturday the 5th of June and we are nearing the end of the first week of Whateverthon. Thankfully, yesterday I broke the slump. Finally, thank God for audiobooks because I don't think I could have done it any other way. I am now in the middle of two audiobooks. One is Come A Little Closer by Rachel Abbott and I've literally got a couple of hours left of it, which is fab. And the other one is Everyday Sexism by Laura Bates. So I've got two audiobooks on the go and I'm finally making some progress for whatever thought. So that is awesome. I got up this morning and I had, it was a lovely day. I had an eye appointment in town. So I went into Aberdeen to get that done. My prescriptions changed, so I need to get some new glasses. But considering the fact that Mr. Puppy decided to scratch my current pair uh, by carrying them around in his mouth it's probably fair enough so I get them next week so that's cool um I also had a wee wander around the shops and I bought Ariadne which I'm very very pleased about I've been eyeing that one up for ages and I also have just gotten some book mail so I am very excited to see what this is I I have bought a few books um from eBay um and you'll probably see why I got them from there in a minute um, I'm not sure which one this is, but it is a full series, but they're coming, three books, but coming from three different sellers. So, doing this one-handed is not, is not easy. Hold on. So, of course, it's the third book that's come first, and this is Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lainey Taylor. <laughs> Apparently, Popper wanted to be in the video. Um, so yeah, this is the third one in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. And I really wanted the hardback, so I found it online. It's got a little bit of damage on it, but that's fine because I can't, you know, obviously get it any other way now. So I loved reading Strange the Dreamer and News of Nightmares so much that I really wanted to get her other series. So like I said, this one is the first to arrive and I should have the other two coming in the next few days, which is super exciting. Um, so yeah, I am now sitting here on the couch with Mr. Puppy, um, who's being a big fat souk. Get off my book. No. Um, so I'm listening to my audiobook just now and just having a few, getting a few bits and bobs done. And then later on, I need to head off to see the pony and I get to ride my friend's horse today as well, which is awesome. Uh, Cause Dylan can only do 15 minute walks at the minute as part of his rehab. So I don't think I've done a Dylan update in a while. I can't remember. So quick recap, Dylan has a sore foot. Um, his front right hoof and we think the issue is in the navicular region very complicated horsey speak if you're not interested then you know sore foot and he has had x-rays done and steroid injections and now he's got specialist shoes to try and give him a bit more heel support and so now we're doing 15 minutes a day walking um, to try and move on his recovery because we've kind of plateaued a little bit and we're not sure whether this is going to help or hinder, but we're going to try and find out. So 
I do that. And then my friend is away this weekend, so I've gotten her pony for the day, and I'll probably take him on a longer ride, just because obviously I can't do that with Dylan at the minute. So I'm really looking forward to that. It's a stunning day, fabulous day to be at the yard, and I'll be listening to my audiobooks primarily throughout today, I think. Um, I don't know why I just didn't start an audiobook earlier in the week. I, I mean, most of my planned books for this week were physical. And I think this is why I don't do TBRs. This is why TBRs do not work for me because then I, I make a TBR and then I don't fancy reading a particular book on the TBR or as planned and I just read nothing. So I'm giving myself a bit of flexibility and I'm reading two audiobooks, like I say. And if I need to read more audiobooks to get me get into the reading game again, then I will. Um, but I think this will help me a lot. And then there are sprints tonight, which I'm super excited about. So um, Maddie from Book Browsing Blog, um, she does dart attack sprints on her Patreon, which I, I'm not I'm not a Patreon, but I would love to see those. And she's doing them on um, her normal channel tonight. So that'll be really fun. Um, I'm excited to do those sprints. So I think the general idea is she decides the length of the sprints by darts. I'm not 100% sure because I've never seen them but I think that's the general aim of the game. So I will hopefully sit down with my physical book then um, which I think is going to be of Blood and Ash but maybe Cersei. Not sure. Think of Blood and Ash because I really want to finish that because I started a handful of pages before someone decided to eat the book. Um, so I'd like to get back into that one. Um, and that was kind of my leftover from do the thingathon. So yeah, I am about to continue with my audiobook and I will bring you along later when I go and see the horse. Catch you in a bit. Hello there. It's a little bit later on. Got some sprints on in the background. So cool to see sprints um, with Ro and Spoops there as well. That's super cute. It's great to see them having fun. Doggo's having a whinge in the background. We're waiting for a quick walk during this spent sprints and uh, yeah, so I'll see you in a bit. shiny Dylan after his bath. He's looking so good. Hopefully that loosens off the last pairs. It's going awesome. Oh goodness me. This is just after lunchtime on Sunday. I'm so tired. I uh, I was up at the crack dawn to set up the dress arenas for my riding club because um, they had a big event on today. And so I did that and then I kind of helped out there till about half 12 and then headed off to do Dylan and then took him for his daily exercise and then I gave him a bath because the yard was nice and quiet and it just was like, don't waste this opportunity. Um, and now driven home and <gasps> I am so tired. I'm literally waiting to go in the house, be there for about 15 minutes and head off again because we're going to go and meet Miss Luna for a walk. Um, so that will be super fun. But that means I'm going to be even more tired when I get home. Um, so I'm not sure how much reading I'm going to get around to doing. I'm going to have to try and do some in the evening, maybe along with the sprints. But I sense a nap to kind of rejuvenate myself before that. Um, so yeah, so so far this week, I have read one book. I can't remember if I vlogged this or not because it's been such a scatty week. I had such a bad reading slump and I don't know if I how much make sense I made when I was vlogging. So I finished one book, which was an audio book. Um, it was Come A Little Closer by Rachel Abbott. So I listened to that one and it was a buddy read um, for the buddy read prompt um, with my boyfriend Ewan. And yeah, that was that was fairly underwhelming. I'm not gonna lie. My first uh, completed read for whatever thons not blowing my socks off. Um, but that's fine. Um, and I'm listening to Everyday Sexism by Laura Bates as book number two. Really just feeling some audiobooks right now. I feel like I need the extra boost um, for reading just now. I'm feeling like that's the best way for me to read at the moment because I started off this week in such a slump. So audiobooks right now are what we're doing. 
Um, and like I say, I'm going to nip inside, probably grab a quick cuppa and then head off again for the rest of my busy weekend. Um, and I will catch up with you a little bit later. Hello, hello. It is a little bit later. Just noticed some dirt on my arm. <laughs> um so we've been back a wee while now actually back to the flat we went to fivey castle for a walk with luna um and ewan's mom which was really really nice come back and i've been doing some reading waiting for the sprints to start which they have we're actually in the first 45 minute sprint now i have got a bit of sunburn which is a bit a bit sore um totally didn't realize how burnt i was and now i'm like oh okay the perils of working at a show and being rubbish at applying sunscreen anyway farmer's tan uh, that's that's quite painful um i am very sleepy it's been a very busy day oh me um so yeah i'm just chilling out with some sprints and we put on some food um it's gonna be a very very chill evening um it's gonna be good so so far in whatever thon i've only read one book um and that is an audiobook i think i mentioned in the clip earlier today i was slumping so bad at the start of this week i just couldn't seem to get into anything and i was wanting to read stuff in a particular order and it just wasn't feeling it um so yeah i uh i started to listen to my audiobook and that really really helped and the audiobook is finished. The audiobook was poop. <laughs> Not the audiobook itself, but the book was a bit poop. Um, but it's fine because book number one is completed, which is great. I've started book number two, which is Everyday Sexism by Laura Bates. I probably said that earlier. And today I've started book number three, which is the new release by Tilly Cole. It just came out on the 1st of June. And I want to say it's Jejadile or Jigadile, I can't pronounce it. It's an archangel name and I don't know how to say it. Um, he just goes by Dial or Deal? Jigadile? Oh good god, I don't know how to say the name. It's the second book in the Deadly Virtues series and it's, uh, yeah, it follows another one of the brothers. First book was about Raphael and this book obviously about Dale. Um, anyway, I'm about 3% in. I'm already pretty hooked. I really love this series. It's a dark romance series, very dark romance series, um, where each of the characters kind of, they're very, very messed up and they each have a desire to kill in a particular manner. And there is, um, they're all kind of, they all live in this manor home and are cared for or kind of reined in a little bit by one of their number called Gabriel. Um, it's it's fascinating. I really really like it, but uh, yeah, definitely not for everyone. That's for sure. But I'm going to get stuck in and read more of that tonight. As you can probably hear in the background, my puppy wants a pee and he's whinging. So I'm going to go and let him out, and I will catch up with you in a bit. Hey there! It's now quarter to eleven on Sunday night. Mr. Pooper here is being super cute. Um, and I am just finishing up a little bit of reading for tonight. I'm gonna be about 10% of the way through book number three that I've started during this readathon, um, which is the new one by Tilly Cole. Um, I'm really enjoying it so far. It's so far exactly what I expected it to be and I'm enjoying it. Um, and I have been playing with Maddie's whatever thon tracking spreadsheet for the last little while because it looked really pretty when she was doing the walkthrough of it. I was like, I have to have a play of it. So I've been doing that instead of reading for the last sprints, but oopsie. Um, got a lot of good spreadsheet. So I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. Look at the cute pie. I'm gonna wrap up I'm gonna wrap up this week's vlog right here. Um obviously it's been a very scatty vlog. Reading's been all over the place, my brain's been all over the place. Let's start a new vlog tomorrow for the second week of whatever thon and hope it's a bit more, you know, 
cohesive. <laughs> so I will see you tomorrow um, when I start vlogging for next week. And I hope you've had a lovely week and I will catch you again soon. Bye.